In this video we're going to look at doing a transformation graphically of a function. And so we have our function here, it looks like about a cubic, and that's f of x. And we want to find the graph, identify the graph of negative 2 f of x. So what this does, this particular transformation, this multiplies all our y values by a negative 2. So it's going to end up flipping the graph over the x-axis and vertically stretching it by a factor of 2. Because if we think of multiplying the x values by negative 2, this one here that was at negative 0.6.4 is now going to be down here at negative 0.6, negative 0.8. And that's the one that curves upwards. It's still going to go through 0, 0, because multiplying 0 by negative 2 won't change it. And this one here that was at 0 0.6, negative 0.4 will now be at 0 0.6, 0 0.8. That's where it's going to curve this way. So we're going to expect the graph to have a shape something like this. Notice how it's been reflected over the x-axis. It looks like it's been flipped this way. All right, the other thing we need to make sure is that these points should be pretty close to 1, sorry, negative 1 and 1. So this graph has this shape, this graph has the shape. This graph, so there's four graphs that have the shape. This one does not. But now we're going to check to see which of them looks like it's also been stretched. So they should have the same zeros. This should still hit at negative 1, and this should hit at 1. There was no vertical shift, so it won't go up or down. So we need it to have the same zeros. So this one is out. Notice that this one here comes really close to negative 1 and 1. This one actually got compressed by some factor, so it actually probably would have been some number here smaller than one, some fraction or some decimal. And this one looks like it stayed about the same. So this is probably here just negative f of x. This looks like maybe about one half, negative one half f of x. So b is our uh, mo most likely candidate. 